Welcome to Milky Way Kiwi and how to find the Southern Cross. The Southern Cross or Crooks is a very important constellation in the Southern Hemisphere as it's visible from all over the Southern Hemisphere and up to 25 degrees north of the equator. For New Zealand, the constellation is always visible, except when it's cloudy because it's what we call circumpolar. This means that it stays visible in the sky through the full rotation of the sky about the South Celestial Pole. And of course that rotation is caused by the rotation of the Earth. The Saturn Cross is inside the Milky Way, so you want to find the bit of the Milky Way that is always to the South. If you can't see the Milky Way, then turn your back to where you would see the Sun or the Moon crossing the sky. Now you're looking roughly south. Another way to find south is to stretch your right arm out to the side and then rotate your whole body around until your right arm is pointing towards where the sun went down. Again, you'll be facing roughly south. To find the Saturn Cross, you have to first find two stars called the pointers, which are quite bright and close together. These are also circumpolar stars. They are called pointers because they always point to the Southern Cross. The circumpolar region stretches from the horizon to about 80 degrees high. It has a radius of about 40 degrees, exactly the same as the latitude here. And the center is the South Celestial Pole. The Celestial Pole's altitude in the sky is exactly the same as your latitude on Earth. The two pointers and the Saturn cross rotate at about 30 degrees from the South Celestial Pole. So they can be anything from 10 degrees above the horizon, which is the same height as the Saturn cross, to 70 degrees. To know how to measure degrees, just spread all of your fingers out on one hand and stretch your arm all the way out. The distance between the end of your little finger and the end of your thumb is about 20 degrees. So you need to search the patch of the sky starting from the horizon and going to about one spread out hand width from straight up. The left and right boundaries are from about two hand widths either side of where you are facing, which is a roughly south. Now look for the brightest star you can see in that big patch of sky. If you found Alpha Centauri, then there will be another bright star about half a fist width away from it. Alpha Centauri is the third brightest star in the sky and also our closest neighbour. If there isn't a second star then you've probably found Canopus which is an awesome star but not the one we're looking for. So find the next brightest star in the patch of sky that we're searching. You need to imagine a line going from the bright one Alpha Centauri through the other one called Hadar and extending just over a fist width beyond Hadar. The next brightest star you will see would be Gakrux, the star marks the top of the Southern Cross. To the right of the line between Hadar and Gakrux, about two thirds of the way along, are two other bright stars. The one close to the imaginary line is B Crux, and the other one about half a fist width further away from the line is A Crux. Now imagine a line from Gakrux to A Crux. That's the major axis of the Southern Cross. To find the final star, just imagine drawing the minor axis from the star B Crux to cross the line drawn from Ga Crux to A Crux. Beyond that line, you'll find the slightly dimmer star Delta Crucis. There you have it, the Southern Cross. If the viewing conditions are not bad, then you'll probably see another dimmer star between Delta Crucis and A Crux. That's the star Australia put on their flag and it's called Epsilon Crucis. So that's how to find the Southern Cross. Good luck and, and clear, clear skies. skies.